Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. I want to talk about the, the weather pattern we're getting into. It's kind of an interesting setup here. You know, we've got this heat dome, which is over the middle of the country. It's basically right here in the middle of the map. This big heat dome is an area of high pressure. It's literally a mountain of air. It's super hot in the middle of it. But what happens is, it, because there's weaknesses on the edge, you tend to get these disturbances which ride around it. And you've sometimes heard this term, and it's a fun term, called the ring of fire because you tend to see thunderstorms form on the ring or the edge of these heat domes. And what's happening today is we're getting closer to the heat dome moving over us, but we're still on the edge a little bit. And we've got Northwest flow. What is Northwest flow? Well, in the mid levels and upper levels of the atmosphere, the flow in the atmosphere is coming from the Northwest. Now we still have warm, humid air at the surface coming in from the South, <laughs> excuse me. And from some cases, the Southeast and Southwest, but in the mid levels, that's steer storms. It's northwest flow. And what you're seeing, and if you look carefully, we've got a cluster of storms. This morning heading to the mountains, they're weakening pretty quickly. Another cluster back in Illinois, and yet a third one coming out of Sioux Falls into Iowa. And these are what we call in meteorology MCSs. It's a real fancy name called mesoscale convective systems. And what you need to know, it's just a complex of thunderstorms. It's an organized area of not one thunderstorms, but a whole bunch of them. And they sometimes move in this northwest flow and come down and hit us in the Carolinas. Even storms that form during the day way up in the Dakotas or in the Central Plains. And that's kind of what we're watching for later today. Now, this first batch is moving in right now. It's produced some gusty winds in the mountains, some lightning, some heavy rain. Not, in, not anticipating a lot from this, but just a heads up this morning, there will be a few scattered storms. But what I'm more interested in, and I'm going to turn off the satellite data here because I'm going to turn on the severe weather outlook for today, is that you could see that northwest flow could bring down these stronger storms, which form up here in Iowa, Missouri, into Illinois, down into northern Georgia, western North Carolina, and maybe western South Carolina um, into the evening hours, and sometimes even late tonight. So the potential is we could see a couple of these waves, and for that reason, we're kind of in this low to medium risk. But what's kind of weird about this risk, it's not an all-day thing. It's going to be a cluster of storms at some point later today in between now and then we'll have to see if the the storms get a little stronger or we see sunshine come out tomorrow kind of a similar setup but the 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 high pressure unfortunately is shifting more over us so we're going to be baking in the heat and see less storms but that's kind of the pattern we're getting into this afternoon so let me quickly show you the future cast because i just want to give you a heads up for these potential strong storms Okay, so here we are looking at a future cast or a model of what could happen over the next 48 hours. So you see the, the three clusters, and that's really what I focus on. The first cluster this morning is over us now, kind of falling apart, but there's two other clusters behind it. I want you to watch what happens as we go through time. The first cluster, again, falls apart. The second one falls apart a little bit, but tries to reorganize later this afternoon. Uh, and the third one up here in Spring, uh, Springfield, Illinois, looks a little bit stronger. We go into the evening hours, you see maybe another cluster develops there, but then look at this big cluster coming down maybe in the wee hours of the morning. So we're going to see thunderstorms scattered again this afternoon, but overnight into early Wednesday, we could see storms. We could wake up to storms tomorrow morning. And this is often what happens with these big clusters of storms. Um, they kind of hit us in the middle of the night because they form up there. And if you look carefully, another one forms in the Midwest and that one heads towards the mountains and kind of falls apart. I'm going to loop this. This is a 40-hour loop, but watch the northwest flow develop here and these individual clusters of storms heading down here. So for the next uh, 48 hours or so, even though we're not expecting widespread rain, we could see at certain points of the day and the overnight some really strong storms. And the biggest issue would be wind, lightning, and incredibly heavy rain. And because we've had so much rain lately, I think flash flooding could end up being a big issue with these. And that is what we often see with these clusters of storms because they tend to produce so much rain. So heads up later today for cluster number one. You could see it right there kind of going strong as that second wave comes in. Then a lull overnight until early tomorrow morning as that next wave moves in. So keep an eye on it. I will I'll post updates throughout the day. We'll talk more about it today at five and seven, or I mean at six and seven on NBC Charlotte. Um, but we're also going to talk about the heat heading our way and we do have that tropical entity that could develop, but that's not going to happen for at least seven days. So that's why it's not an immediate threat. But we'll talk about that as well. I'll see you today after the Olympics at 6, 7, and 11.30 p.m.